multiplying and dividing by 10 or 100. Now there's two real ways of looking at how to do this. One involves you thinking about the number moving through the decimal point and the other is just looking at what actually hap what it looks like is happening which is the decimal points moving. I'm going to focus on the decimal point moving because to me that's the one that, that's the quickest and easiest. So when you times them by 10 uh, what looks like is happening is uh, the decimal point seems to jump one space to the right. The digits themselves stay the same so the 2 and the 7 are going to stay the same but the decimal point it's going to jump one place to the right, so it would jump after the 7, so it would be 27.0. But we don't write the point zero, so we just put 27. Um, 0 0.21 times 10. And what happens is this decimal point jumps one place to the right to become 2.1. And 0 0.05, one place to the right, makes it 0 0.5 and 0.28 makes it 2.8. Now sometimes people get a little confused which way does it does the decimal point move. Well when you times it by 10 you're making something bigger so you move the decimal point to make the answer bigger and when you times it by 10 you move it one place. When you times it by 100 you have to move it two places. Once because you times it by 10 and then again because you times it by another 10 because 100 is times it by 10 and then another 10. So 8.24 becomes 824.0, but again we don't write the point zero, so it's just 824. Okay, times in um, 4.76 by 100, one place times by 10, two places times by 100, so it becomes 476. 3.6, 1, 2, 36, 4.1. Okay, a little bit trickier this one because there isn't actually a space for that. So when we move it one place to there, that's times it by ten. We've got to move it another place, but there isn't anywhere else to move it. But if we just fill in with zeros, because we can have as many zeros after this decimal point as you want, then we can uh, find out where it goes. So it goes after a zero. So that equals one four one zero. Remember the decimal points moved to here. Now dividing by ten and divided by hundred are very similar just with making a number smaller by moving the decimal point. Now 36 doesn't have a decimal point but if I write it where it should be, so 36.0 and then divide by 10, the decimal point jumps one place to the left we get 3.6 uh, dividing by 10, the decimal point jumps one place to the left so we get 0.87 and we should put a zero in there and Again, jumps one place to the left equals 1.73, and then jumps one place to the left equals 0 0.07. Divided by 100, moves it two places, so the decimal point on 91, 91.0, jumps one, two places to the left to make it smaller, gives me 0 0.91 and 0, but we don't write the 0 on the end of a decimal. Divided by 2 here, decimal points go from here in two places to get 15.74. Decimal point that's here is going 1, 2 places to get 83.10, but we, again we don't write the 0. And 1, 2 places to get 7.48.